Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today we're gonna to be working on an interesting project. Since it's so cold out, we're gonna be making a fire pit. So first of all, make sure you're in the feet because we're in America here today. And we wanna sketch a circle. In my case, I'm gonna do a diameter of four feet. So I did two there. I'm gonna retype that to four because I like to have a big fireplace or a fire pit in this case. And uh, what we wanna do is also decide on the inner dimensions. And I think three feet would probably work out pretty well get like a foot foot of a fire brick okay and what we need to do now is also calculate how many bricks we need so let's draw a line across here try to make it the same so it's easier to revolve it and we're going to use the pattern tool instead of having to copy it over so just select the pattern tool click the line make sure you're in circular pattern and then revolve this by 360 degrees and we can start out with a number that we think might work and as you can see this brick would be way too big so let's double that and that looks pretty good actually and we're actually only using this for a reference because when you extrude the brick you don't want to have to select all of them because if you extrude all of those bricks they come out as one piece here so let's undo that and select only just the one and we want to go up and make it look realistic so i think 0.3 looks pretty good but what we want to do now is hide the sketch for a sec and work on this brick just a little bit to make it more realistic looking for our project so let's go ahead and uh, fill it that by 0.05 inches and then we also want to do the top and bottom but i think not as much as the sides so maybe 0.025 and this looks like a pretty realistic brick and what i want to do now is for for our visual reference obviously we want to change that to a stone material so it looks realistic and we don't really have a fire brick here so let's just use rough concrete and that'll already help us to kind of see it as it should be i know it was gray already but you know still we let's go ahead and unhide the sketch plane so we have a reference again and let's double click it to select and use the pattern tool instead of copying over each one and then just go to the edge of the circle so it self aligns in the center and uh, we want to make a circular pattern 360 degrees again and i believe we had 16 there we go and then uh, also we want to rotate them slightly as we go along so we need to find out the um, circumference or degrees rather that it's rotated so as you can see if you click both of these sketches it shows you that it's 22.5 it shows you up here and it shows you down here so we basically need half of that distance so that's 11.25 so what we can do now is go ahead and Deselect that sketch, select our pattern, click copy, go up by the number that we had before, which was 0.3 in height. And then we want to deselect the copy and rotate this by 11.25. Once we have that in place, we can go ahead and select both of them, click copy and move it up by now 0.6. All right, once we have that done, Let's go ahead and select the top face by double clicking and we want to go to the center here and draw another circle so make sure you're aligned in the center so you don't have any mistakes later on but once you have that circle let's expand it to be bigger it's to fit basically right there on the border which is three but we want slightly off so let's do 2.95 so there's some kind of clearance between that because this is actually going to be the metal plate that goes between and Basically, at this point, we need to offset this to have some kind of thickness. And I think 0.025 inches is a pretty good gauge for the metal. And what we can do is, if you know the exact size, you can simply extrude that. So select it and extrude it. Or if you don't remember, just make it a little bit bigger so you have easy access to it. And then go in there and go Tools, Replace Face. Select the face you want to replace, the face you want to use as a reference. Click Done. And now we have that bottom plate there. Okay, so now we also need to make the bottom piece and we have these sketches in the way and we might want to save them for reference so we can extrude one. So let's go 0.025 and then let's hide the sketch after we deselect everything. And go to tools, revolve. And since we're in the center, we can use the Z axis as a revolution. So see, we completed our piece here. Click done and tools, union select these two and union them and these bodies can't be united that's technically fine we could just delete this old one click delete and we keep that one that we made 
and then union it to our top piece of metal. Click done. And if you double click it now, you can see it's one piece. And then the final thing here is tools extrude this little top face. Let's do 0 0.025 again. And make sure it's a new body because we need to edit it. See, see the line that comes up when we make a new body? We actually need to use that because we're going to expand that out to cover the top of our bricks. So tools, replace face, select this face and choose the outer face here as well. Click done. And then we have basically our entire piece of metal that covers the fire pit. So tools, union, put these two pieces together. Like imagine they're welded. Then if you want, you can fill at these edges by 0.025 I think is a good number since that's the thickness we were using and actually we, we could probably do that size as well so 0.025 now we have a nice looking fireplace the only thing that's left is to change this into a metal and uh, I'm not really sure but cast iron seems like a good idea maybe steel I guess it would work with, with the gray but uh, I'm not really a materials expert, so that's that's going to be up to you. But basically now we have this fire pit, right? And there's technically not much else to do here except add a fire, which we won't be doing in Shaper because uh, Shaper is not really good with organic shapes. So I'm going to leave the rest up to you, but this is basically how you can make a fire pit. And one thing that's really nice about this is now you can go in and you can see how many bricks you need to make this exact fire pit. So if you go into your items menu, you see we made circular patterns. So we have 16. So 16 times 4 is 12, 24, 64 bricks. So we need 64 bricks to make this fireplace. I hope this helps you guys with your projects. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.